Hey yeah, creative, welcome back to the channel and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can cut a structured sleeve with puff. So the first step is for you to draft your basic sleeve and this length is 13 inches, that's from my shoulder to my elbow 13 inches and my satin is on fold, I'm using a satin fabric is on fold. So the space there is 6, six inches, I kept a space of 6, six inches, I'll rule a line then i'll go up by four inches so this is four inches up and i'm going to connect it now to the sleeve really line then connect it just curve it to our basic sleeve then this side i'm just going to straighten the line you're done you cut so I'm going to be cutting two of this sleeve, which I'm going to show you in the video. So cut it out and cut, cut, cut. I'm done cutting. Go ahead, remove your pattern paper, your sleeve pattern out. And I'm taking 10 inches. This is 10 inches. I'll connect it all the way like you see me doing in the video to the side of the sleeve then you're going to cut it out so you place this cut out and we are going to have two of this so this is it's me placing it and I'm going to be cutting that too so I'll go ahead the lining part because I'm using the satin for the lining so the lining part I'm going to gum I'm using um, cloth um, collar gum to it then this is quinoline you can see me trying to place my quinoline and I'm keeping space this is like three quarter and I'll sew it all the way around then once I was done uh, I added boning of the camera so add boning for better structure so there's a boning on the quinoline you can see there's a space where I'm going to be joining the other um cut out fabric uh -huh. so this is the parts now i'm using so i'm using satin as my um lining too so you place the other one we cut and sew it all the way around so this is what you're going to get so you can see the part that is without gum is the one that's going to be facing out then the one with the color gum will face in so that's our lining you open it up and you sew it this way for better and neat finishing so you open it up and sew it this way so i'm done sewing it you can see how neat it is and yeah so i'm going to pleat up here and we are done with the sleeve i added boning and quinoline for it to give me that structure for it to be firm you can see it's simple please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up because thumbs up really help the video thank you so much and i'll see you in my next video